Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's Not Just Christmas in July video. Today I'm going to use this little robin die and an embossing folder to make a really simple, clean and simple Christmas card for you. And once I've done that, I'm going to show you some other non-Christmas cards that I've made with the same design idea. My card blank is about four inches by five and three quarters, smooth white cardstock and I'm going to sacrifice another card blank. I often do this if I want to do a white card on a white card technique. I want my whites to match because not all whites are the same. Some are a bit creamier, some are a bit greyer. So to ensure that your whites match then you can use a spare card blank. So what I want from my piece of white cardstock is a strip for my robin to sit on. I don't want it as tall as the robin. I want it a bit shorter, so something like that. And then I want to emboss some snowy texture on it. So I'm going to put this somewhere on here where it's going to pick up lots of these dots. And I'll run that through my cuttle bug. So there we have my little strip embossed with dots or snowflakes. I'm just running an embossing tool along the cut edge there to bevel it a bit so it looks like it's been die cut. And then I want to add this two thirds of the way up and I'm going to use high tack PVA glue to stick that down and my T-square ruler to make sure it's square. And I'll press that down with a bit of non-stick deli paper and that fits perfectly. I don't need to do any trimming, I don't think. So we've got a nice little textured white on white band. And now for our little robins. So I've got here some mixed media paper, which is a very robust paper that will handle all sorts of different media, including watercolour and acrylic. And I'm going to cut three little robins. To colour my robins, I'm going to do some watercolouring, but I'm going to use my Zig Mild Liners to provide the colour. So I've scribbled a little on my glass mat and I'm picking it up with a small paintbrush and painting it on just on the robin's breast. And for the brown of the robin, I'm going to use this brown mild liner brush pen. Again, dip my paintbrush into some water, pick up the colour, and I've got a slightly bigger paintbrush this time because I'm covering a bigger area. You can still get into all the nooks and crannies though because it's got a lovely point on it. It's a very, very warm day here today which is lovely because it's about time we saw the summer, but it does mean that things like watercolour dry really, really quickly. So you do have to work quite fast if you don't want to get hard, harsh lines forming. I tend not to do an awful lot of watercolouring in the summer for that very reason. It's more of a spring, autumn, winter activity for me. You can go in and do a second coat that's the beauty of using a mixed media or watercolour paper for this. You can get it wet a lot and it won't fall apart. I'm going to give them a blast with a hairdryer to make sure they're uniformly dry and then go in with a bit more detail. So I'll take my brown pen and just run it along the bottom here. There's a bit of a shadow. And the same with the bottom of his breast I think. Maybe a little bit down his back. I'm going to do his whole tail because if the light is shining down on my robin like this his tail will be in shadow as well as his back. So now I'm going to stick those on. I've got a bit of my high tech PVA glue again. Spread it out on my glass mat and I'll just dip the robins into it. And 
put them on my snowy strip spread out equally. I've cut three robins out of black card because I want to give my robins a little black eye each. I can keep these robins for something else. And I'm just going to pick up the little black eye, dip it in a little bit of glue and pop it in the little hole there. And to just bring the eye to life a little bit, I'm going to put the tiniest little white dot as a catch light in each eye so it looks shiny and alive. You could very easily add a sentiment to this card. You could have something up here near the strip of birds or you could have something down here say separated. I think I'm going to leave it as is. So as I said it's a very simple clean and simple card. Do stick around for a few more minutes and I'll share some other ideas of non-Christmas cards that I've made with this kind of design idea. Okie dokie, I am back and I've got five cards made for you. All non-Christmas cards, but made with the same design ideas as the Christmas card that I made. So on this card, we have a strip that's been embossed with a flower embossing folder. So you can see tiny little flowers behind the three main flowers. I tried to get these as identical as possible. I just used some bits from my box of backgrounds and bits. I picked a yellowish smushed paper to make my flowers from and a green smushed paper to make my leaves from. I did gild the flowers with some rose gold gilding wax just to give them a bit of shimmer and shine and texture. When you tilt it under the right light, you be able to see the gilding on the petals and for the flower centers I used copper nouveau drops copper penny it is again I didn't put a sentiment on because not every card needs a sentiment and while we're looking at flora I've got one I did with leaves again I used green smushed paper die cut three leaves from it gilded them this time with gold gilding wax and I used a floral embossing folder to emboss the strip. But I think the pattern wasn't small enough because I didn't get enough visible flowers behind my leaves. So what I did in the end was just filled up some of the gaps with Morning Dew Nouveau Drops, which will dry clear. So here's one I did with just gold foil cardstock and a strip of paper that I had embossed using my scoring tool. So this has got, I think, five or six lines scored into it. And I think maybe the bows are a little big on this one. If I did it again, I would choose slightly more delicate bows, I think. For this one, I decided instead of portrait, I would go landscape. And instead of going all the way across, I decided to build up a panel in the middle. So I've got three not quite identical hearts these have each got a sentiment embossed into them and for my panel behind I used a heart embossing folder and then just mounted it on some other bits of white card ran a strip of rose gold washi across the front and layered it on for my last card I've gone landscape again for the strip of paper I embossed it with a star embossing folder the stars I cut from another bit from my backgrounds and I gilded them with gold gilding wax so they've got a nice sparkle when you tilt them in the right light they will shine but instead of centering them on the strip I set them off to one side I think this would lend itself quite nicely to having a sentiment you could have something tucked in there or a little uh, one stuck in here so there we go there's one Christmas card and five non-Christmas cards made all using the same principles really you can change up your embossing folder you can change up your die cuts you can add bling in the form of washi tape and gilding wax even gold foil cardstock and you can change the position of the strip on the cards on the first card it was at the top and then we've got one a bit down the bottom one in the middle that one's more central that one's back up the top again and then we've got one off to the side in a different orientation vertically instead of 
horizontally so you can play around with it right i hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas for christmas cards and non-christmas cards alike if it has please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments and if you want to see more from me do subscribe and ring the notification bell thanks for watching bye for now